messing around with us anymore. You've gone quite a ways up already. How much further to the top? There should be a stairwell on the other side of that door. You'll never reach the Royal Hall. The cost of defying Her Majesty is your hands. Incoming! The exploring can wait until we know it's safe. Outside. Could be worthwhile. Huh. Oh, how about this way? Let's see where they take us. That treasure like smell isn't fun. Let's get to the roof. coming from be ready for anything guys is this some kind of bird cage what is this doing here and where's Alice she doesn't seem to be here hey hey look is that a treasure no I can tell now this is something completely different from a treasure Desires? Yes, sir. It's all of them so far. Desires? Four are coming soon. Capture every last one of them, seize their desires, and bring them here. Understood, Understood sir. Hey, those are... Those are desires? Yeah. They're the same as what we saw the other day. Desires here, right? So those jewels are the desires? They looked like they got sucked up into that light. There's no question. That treasure like shimmering up there? That's the desire. That is? We did hear Alice was collecting them. But that was a pile of gems. How come they turned into that shimmery thing? This is just speculation, but. Maybe that up there's the original form of a desire? After all, people's desires don't naturally have a single concrete form. Because we all find our own desires precious. That could be why they look like gems here. 
When the people had their desires seized by the shadows, they consciously felt them being taken, so the desires took form then. But what turned them back into light? Their desires are still stolen. Maybe Alice is considered their owner now that they're in her birdcage here. Alice doesn't seem to believe they can be stolen back. That's why they turned back into their base form. It does seem to follow logically. At any rate, if we reclaim the desires and release them from this cage, the people may well return to normal. Yeah, that's definitely worth a try. One moment. How does one steal light? A calling card? What is that? It's how we make that shimmery light take material form. If we make the owner aware that someone is after their treasure, it takes form. Desires should work the same way. To do it, we send a calling card to our target that says we're going to steal whatever is most precious to them. I got it. I think. Are we sure it'll work, though? This isn't a palace with a treasure. Nothing is obtained without action. We must at least try first. For now, let's focus on securing our infiltration route. Hell yeah! I'm getting there first! jail cell door. Is there another barrier? Am I hearing something? Sophie, wait! Could you just go away? What do you think you're doing looking at the guys like that? She is like such a waste of space, you know? Totally. She's such a loser. It hurts to look at her. <laughs> no. I just... What was that? You heard it too? A memory hidden by the monarch. Sophie, are you all right? No problem here. However, I did figure something out. That memory we heard is the key to the barrier. How's that? This cage is currently locked. You're right. What's that doing there? It will require a key, which we will find in the room those voices came from. It will be some sort of secret room, but we can't find this room here. We need to return to reality for that. Reality? Why is that? The room has been completely isolated. Its entrance exists only in the real world. How'd you know all that? One of your programs or something? I do not know. I merely sense it. Maybe the lock on this cage is somehow linked to a lock in Alice's heart. Mona-chan? If Sophie's right, what we heard just now is a memory of the monarch. That means it's extremely important to her. I have a feeling that memory is acting as the lock on her heart, keeping us from getting past that door. So the lock's an important memory. It's only natural that the key to this place would be hidden somewhere that no one would find. That logic is indeed sound, but... How is it possible? This is all just speculation so far. I've never seen anything like this either. This could be another difference between the palaces and this jail. We can't reach the secret room in this world, you said? Correct. We must find the location in reality instead. And that would be... I was not able to detect it. But it should be related to those voices somehow, right? Hmm. I could be wrong, but... Didn't it sound like someone was getting bullied? Looking at guys like that. Maybe school age? That could be. Brilliant deduction, Panther. I'm just no stranger to hearing that kind of stuff, is all. Panther. If she's right, does that mean the key we need is somewhere in Alice's old school? That would be logical. All right. Let's go do some investigating back in the real world next. We're gonna need a calling card, too. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. How are 
are there no results? Really? But isn't stuff like where celebs went to high school easy to find online? Usually, yeah. But this time, no hits. Even on the underground sites. All I'm seeing is fake info from deluded fans. Even if she changed her name, there'd still be traces of that somewhere. Usually. Shit, even you can't find Futaba? This reeks of a serious scrub job. Someone, probably her, intentionally hid her past. <sighs> this is quite the setback. If we don't discover Alice's alma mater, we'll never find a way into that secret room. <sighs> but isn't it, like, impossible to just erase stuff from the internet on your own? How else could we approach this? What if Mako-chan's sister looks into it for us? She's a prosecutor turned lawyer. Maybe she'll have access to useful intel we couldn't gather ourselves. Oh, that could work. Think it's doable, Makoto? I don't have a problem doing it, but how exactly would I go about asking? Personal information and histories are legally protected, so I doubt she'd readily agree to hand that over to us. Yeah, just asking her to tell us where Alice went to school is not gonna fly. I hear you there. I really don't want to wind up on the other side of a table with her getting all, Answer me! Ah, okay. Alice Aragi's school. It's... it's the guy from... The Shady Detective. I'm PubSec, not just some cop detect... Wait, I'm not shady. Am I? Yes, quite. These kids are something else. Would you quit saying that kind of stuff with that smile on your face? So what do you want? Come on, enough of the cold shoulder. You know I'm trying to help you out. You help us? You want to know where Alice Hiragi went to school, right? But you can't find where that is. And that's exactly how someone wants it. For some reason, there's almost no personal info available on Alice Hiraki, especially prior to her debut. That is just a big old blank. So, since this is giving you all a hard time, I've swooped in to lend a hand. Intel and Alice would be no sweat for me over in PubSec HQ, so how about it? Want some help? Nah, we're good. We'll handle it on our own. Yep, just a little more time and I'll get it myself. Great, happy to help. Wait, wait come on now. This is a real deal connection here. Just be grateful and take the intel. We're sorry, we just have zero trust in the police. I told you to stop smiling when you say that. Fine, I've got to earn your trust first, I get it. Alice Hiragi is your senpai. She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no, everyone's senpai but yours. She went to Shujin? And don't forget it, because you owe me one now. Got it? Well, there he goes. It's hard to gauge whether he's friend or foe. More importantly, how did he know where Alice went to school? Could the police already have their eyes on her as well? It's possible. And it would mean that we can trust him, for now at least. Well, I guess all we can do now is try it. We can find the secret room if we go to Shujin, right? That appears to be correct. Everything should go... And we'll have access. Wow, 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 huh? <laughs> sure. Yeah. With that settled, let's all head to Shujin now. There's no point in dawdling here. Yeah, Makoto's right. Time to check out Shujin Academy.
We've got what you need. I'll be waiting for you. Trickster, performing a fusion, it seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. You wish to strengthen it? You lack the power needed. in your new self. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which... Is this the person? Now, let us... 
Let us begin. Choose which... Is this the persona you'd like? Now, let us begin. Be on your side. Are we sure this is right? I'm not seeing anything weird. I have no doubt. This place gives me the same sensation as when I touch the birdcage. Think this is what would bring me back here. I suppose so. Even though it's only been about half a year. Still, I had no idea Alice Hiragi graduated from Shujin. I didn't either. And I figured a student council president would know better than anyone about celebrity graduates. Perhaps she had a past here that she wished to erase. What do you mean? Those voices we heard in her jail. Those cutting words and that painful cry. I don't know whether she was one of the instigators or the victim of such bullying. However, she experienced it. Left such a gaping wound in her heart that she refuses to even acknowledge the truth of the matter. And that truth took place right here. So that's why Shujin has a secret room. <laughs> well, we should get moving. What's next? We may not be in Shibuya, but this place is still linked to its jail. Inputting the proper Emma keyword should permit access as usual. Okay, let's try it. Everybody ready? Yeah. We're ready. Keyword, Wonderland. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. So, it's a classroom? Is this what a school is like? It's rather different than how the internet makes it appear. The cognitive distortion's really strong here. What's going on? Uh, hey, look! Ah, a ghost! Are you seriously crying? Ugh, how pathetic. Trying to get us to go easy on you. You tricked him the same way too, didn't you? No, I... I'd never do that. What? What is this? God, you're disgusting. Serious! Why are you 
still alive! also changed. As these prison cells. No time. Here it comes. Look sharp, folks. We should avoid wasting energy on our attacks. Let's read the enemy's movements and respond in the Let's go. Oh, down. 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 What are you doing batting your ass with some guy? What is what this to... I don't know. Now. Whatever that is. Fire. It's horrible. The key is most assured in here. It must be hidden somewhere within the cell. Not exactly fixed here right now. Focus on the enemy Fire. first. Strike! Take this! Fire! It's tough, but it's weak to fire! You can handle this! Fire! Now get the Take this! I'm going to Joker! Alright, Joker! Take this! Let's go! Joker got into the follow-up attack! I'm going to! Now! You're mine! Bring on the <laughs> what a skill. I've learned something new. What was that rumbling? The birdcage in the jail is now unlocked. We will be able to access it. For real? It appears our most recent target held the key. In other words, we defeated the Warden guarding the key. 
a warden in Alice's memories. A key to the cage in her jail. So a different shadow held the key, not Alice's? What are you going on about? Uh, oh, nothing. I was just thinking how many differences there are from the palaces. Good point. The palaces don't have any rooms like these, or wardens guarding keys in hidden locations. It's as if the more we learn, the messier the situation gets. If it weren't for Sophie, we wouldn't have even made it here. Have I been helpful to the Phantom Thieves? Mm-hmm. You know it. Praise accepted. Mm. Well, we'll praise you all you want later. We've got a birdcage to bust open. True. We have one last task in the real world first. Let's send Alice the calling card and take back those desires. That's left to send in the calling card. What should it say? We're after the desires that Alice is seizing from the people whose hearts she changed, right? Then don't we have to write something like, We shall take back the desires you've seized. Smart. Using the same logic that works on treasures is probably our best shot. Once the desire takes form, we can steal it. If we return the victims their own desires, everyone should return to normal. So... What'll happen to Alice, then? Well, she should be having a change of heart and confessing soon after. Actually, that's not set in stone. What we're stealing this time are the desires that Alice seized from others. This isn't her own desire or ambition. Or like the treasure we found in palaces. There's no way of knowing whether or not Alice's heart will be changed. Even if we rescue her victims, without a change of heart in Alice, this will just turn into a pointless cycle. But if the calling card works, her desire will manifest inside the birdcage. That creates a high probability that we'll encounter Alice's shadow there. We did cause quite a scene destroying the loft. Whether through words or fists, don't we still have the opportunity to change her heart via her shadow? Then let's do it! Let's take her head on! Oh, uh, sorry. I know that's the dangerous approach, but... You guys are all up for it. I want to rescue Alice, too. Not just her victims. Alice said she wanted to be a ray of light that could inspire people suffering through life. You mean when she was on TV? I don't know if she really meant all that. Well, I do. I get why she said it. Because of all the bullying in her past. I mean, doesn't it seem like we saw part of Alice's trauma in the secret room? Trauma? It's like an invisible wound in a person's heart. It comes from living through painful experiences. A wound in a heart. Maybe that trauma's the whole reason the jail formed. Trauma distorted Alice's heart, giving birth to the jail. That is very similar to palace generation. I've got to say it's possible. But how is that trauma relevant to Alice's current behavior? This is just a hunch, but... I think she sees what she's doing as some kind of revenge against the kinds of girls who treated her badly. Stealing someone's dude right in front of her as revenge to Alice? Oh, that's pretty sick. But her shadow's operation is way too massive for that to be all. She just has too many victims already. What if she simply kept escalating because no one was there to stop her? Becoming a monarch must create an awful amount of distortion. All that only makes me want to help Alice more. If her heart's grown that distorted, then I want her to at least remember how it feels being a ray of light for somebody. Is she beyond helping at this point? I don't know. But there has to be someone who at least tries. We can't just abandon Alice. Oh, Lady On. Thanks. I'm with you. Let's do it. No objections here, either. However, should we engage her in combat, we must avoid taking her life at all costs. Absolutely. That's out of the question. Best case scenario, we just talk her out of it. Guys, do you think I could write the calling card this time? There's something I need to tell her personally. 
thanks. It'll be great. Writing a calling card? Need any help? Ooh, you can help me with the phrasing, Sophia. Awesome. All we gotta figure out now is the delivery. <laughs> I may have a plan for that. This is a special reunion of the Phantom Thieves. We gotta do this right. Hey. Hello, Trickster. You wish to strengthen it? How much power will you add? This is what you've chosen. The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. Awaken your new self. May luck be on your side. In other news, Akira Konoe, founder of Medis, announced a joint project with one-time rival company, Pineapple. Tech heads are fired up with anticipation at the news, awaiting further details with them. Hey, look. Okay, folks, listen up! Good evening. Been a while, huh? Perhaps you remember us. We are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi. You pretend you're a ray of light, but all you do is hurt people to indulge your own darkness. You're a bad person, and bad people have to be stopped. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back. Let's go. Like these, I know I'm supposed to be dead. Brilliant. The first move is ours. I'll reveal your true form. Open the lock. 
Climbing this should give us a straight shot to the birdcage of desire. that it's her Alice so it's a fight after all oh dear you thought you'd just sneak in like that and what exactly do you plan on doing with those desires hey you Joker right did you come back to me so you could be mine Try being nicer to girls. Alice Hiragi! We know all about the horrible things you've done. You seized people's desires by force and turned them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could bilk all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes of heart you forced on the people. The Phantom Thieves are about to beat the distortion out of you. Takamaki-san, you're so beautiful. There's no way you could understand. You have no clue what I've been through. You mean what happened to you at Shujin? Uh, where did... How? We know all of it. How you were bullied. How it was torture for you. But I still... Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, the past still comes back to me. How pathetic. What a mess. But that doesn't matter now. With this power, I can have everything. Everything I've always wanted. Mine. And now, I'm gonna make you mine. Alice in Wonderland. Oh my! I'm late for a very important date! Come along, come along! I have such wonders to show you! What wonders? Ignore her, Soapy. She just wants to torture us or something. Alice, I'm gonna make you see the light! Oh, 
going, you'll just make yourself feel even worse. How would you know? <sighs> I just can't compare to someone like you, Takamaki-san. All my life, I'm no match for the real winners. <sighs> and I tried to change, but I was still made fun of, still bullied. I just wanted to stop being miserable. I poured my heart into fashion and work to get so far. But then, she showed up again and started running her mouth about my past. She told everyone what a pathetic little shit I was. <sighs> That's why I took all of it from her, her boyfriend, her social circle, everything! And that still wasn't enough for me! And it wasn't just her. Everyone that talked behind my back, all the people who just stood there when I was kidding! I'll destroy every single one of them! Alice... So this is a wound in a heart. <laughs> this power lets me get revenge. So I... You became the bully. Right? You 
idiot. What good does that do? Now you're just as bad as the people who made you suffer. Is that how you want to live? Like one of those bullies? Didn't you want to be something else? A ray of light for others. And for yourself. <sighs> to the people I hurt and start over. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I'm sure you can turn it around. I've been through a lot of the same things, but thanks to my best friend and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand up for myself and do the right thing. You're never alone. Once you're back to your real self, let's be friends, okay? You want to be... Really? Uh-huh. I mean, I totally love Alice. <laughs> we even share the same dream. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> I'll go back now, where I belong. This time, I'm gonna be... was effing amazing! Did we just witness the desires returning to their rightful owners? Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Everyone who got a desire disappeared afterward. I hope that means their real-life counterparts are returning to normal. Yes, you're right. Wait, what the...? What is it, Mona-chan? Something's wrong. It's not collapsing. But the giant desire blew up! Like... <sighs> no. Just look around. Now that you mention it... Whenever we stole a treasure, we'd have to leave the metaverse entirely, right? Yeah, we always had to haul ass out of there. That is most assuredly not happening now. If anything, it's grown eerily quiet. So, if the Monarch is toppled, and the Desires are all returned, the Jail still doesn't collapse? It would appear that palaces are different from this Jail, after all. There's a chance we haven't actually resolved the issue yet. I wonder how Alice will react to this. Could we find out when we get back to the real world? It'd be nice if she could recall what happened here, but no one shares memories with their shadows. Think she might talk to Panther? Huh? Me? Yeah, yeah! You two could really hit it off! She did say that she loves her. <laughs> yeah... I mean, it was worth going that far for her to come to her senses. <laughs> Alice really is a one-of-a-kind talent. And her dream is definitely something worth fighting for. I just hope she can remember how that dream first made her feel. So she can bring that feeling to the people who need it. <laughs> 
I don't know if there's anything I can do to help her, but I at least want to be there for her. Fascinating. What's up, Sophie? Just as the Phantom Thieves predicted, Alice Hiragi appeared to change her logic. This would not be possible had we simply defeated her. How did you predict the outcome? We didn't really predict it. Being able to change is what makes someone human. Someone is human because they can change. The human heart is much more complicated than expected, isn't it? Just when you think you've grown beyond your pain, the smallest thing can bring you all the way back down again. The human heart is indeed difficult to comprehend. It's filled with mysteries. Well, you're pretty high up there on the mystery charts yourself, Sophie, my dear. No, I'm... Sophie, humanity's companion, right? We get it. You got it, Skull. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not bad, Skull. Do you really get it? <laughs> Well, what do you say we head back now? I'd like to check on the real world, Alice. Yeah, <laughs> let's get going. with Shadow Alice earlier. By the end, though, she appeared happy. Why is that? Wasn't she angry at Alice? Okay. Anger is not just for hurting people. It is also able to save people. in the wrong, anger can be used to show them the error of their ways. The human heart is such a mystery. But thanks to you, I've gained valuable experience. Thank you. I hope to learn more from you. <laughs> <laughs> 